We're the Travel Hacking Teachers, and for the last five years, we've been working and raising our family overseas. We just wrapped up three years of teaching and traveling throughout the United Arab Emirates, and we're on summer vacation until we make our big move to our new school in Indonesia. Although COVID-19 has put many of our global travel plans on hold, we can still practice social distancing while exploring the natural areas of our childhood stomping grounds in the Midwest region of the United States. Good morning, Travel Hackers. Welcome back. Today, we are continuing our journey during this social distancing time uh, over the COVID-19 summer, but we really want to make sure we're outdoors and getting the kids plenty of exercise and sunlight. <laughs> so we found that checking out the state parks has been a really good offering. And so today, we're heading to Loudoun State Park, which is outside of Oregon, Illinois. Uh, bonus is that they have one of the world's largest concrete monoliths that pays tribute to the Native American culture. So we're very excited to see that one. Yeah, I'm excited. And before we do that, let's head to town. We heard that there's a non-for-profit bakery that's really, really good, and we want to take you there and show you that as well. Cool. Sounds great. All right. Let's All right. go. See you on the road. One cool fact about the Village Bakery is that it's a non-for-profit bakery and they hire adults with disabilities, uh, which is just a great way to give everybody jobs and help build the local communities. Hi. Hi there. Good morning, how you doing? All right. Okay, so we'll go two of the filled, we'll go one sticky bun and one cinnamon roll. Anything else? Coffees. Coffee? Two coffees. <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank you. You're welcome. Nice window, guys. Oh, that's thank awesome. You. Next stop is Loudoun State Park. Park is beautiful. It costs nothing to come here. There's lots of trails and there's lots of space and picnic tables and campsites. So we're going to go enjoy our coffee and our donuts. <laughs> Loudoun State Park is amazing. It's a very beautiful uh, area and it's totally free to access. So again, you can come in for uh, social distancing uh, on this COVID summer. To come here is a really great opportunity for you and your family to get some outdoor playtime. We've got playgrounds, there's hiking trails, and there's one very special monument that Kelly's gonna talk about. We are here to see the monolithic statue called the Internal Indian. Let's go. The trail to the monolith is really pretty, uh, very beautiful, well maintained. And before we get there, let's talk about some of the stuff we know about it already. First, the artist was? Lorado Taft, okay. and he's from this area. He was born and raised in Illinois, and he grew up in this area, and he started this really cool art um, colony called the Eagle's Nest. Yes, the Eagle's Nest, and that was in the late 1800s when that whole thing happened. And that was here on this land. And then um, he was the one who did the monolithic sculpture and that was back in like 1911. Right, and we know it's 48 feet tall and weighs 200 and something tons. We'll verify that when we get to the placard, I'm sure. Yep, and it is one of the U.S. National Register um, historic sites. Cool, so it's going to be protected for uh, generations to come, we hope. As you can see here, there's different stages of how they built the statue and how it was erected and put up um, back in 1911. It's actually called the Eternal Indian. They also have dubbed it um, the Black Hawk statue, and that's because of Chief Black Hawk's um, influence in the area and of these lands and all the history that's happened in this area right here on the Rock River. All right, so we just talked to a local guy walking by and he told us this really great story 
about the restoration project that just wrapped up in January of 2020. Uh, basically, the concrete, as it's, the monolith is over 100 years old, was starting to deteriorate in places. So the local people in Oregon raised the money, something like $400,000, to pay for the restoration project to keep the uh, monument uh, looking pristine and just a place that people want to visit. So the fact that they raised the money locally to take pride in this Native American monument is a very cool thing and speaks very well of the people in Oregon. The Loudon Park is a really great destination, especially during these times of social distancing, to have all this open space, the playgrounds, the trails, all really cool. Yep, and don't forget to stop at Village Bakery on your way to Loudon Park so that you can fill up on some yummy sweets yep. and uh, support a really great local business. So that's it for us travel hackers. We will see you in the next episode.